housing bill could face further delays. House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer is our special joins us this morning from Capitol Hill. Congressman, good to see you again. Good morning. Uh, is this going to get through as it is, as far as you can tell? We certainly hope so. Now, when you say as it is, uh, uh, Secretary Paulson, uh, Chairman Frank, Chairman Dodd, obviously are looking some, uh, for some additions uh, to the pending legislation. Uh, but we are hopeful that we can move this legislation and come to an agreement uh, between the administration, uh, the Senate, and the House so that we can pass legislation maybe as early as Thursday. Yeah. The, the, the general read, though, is that you tack on some sticky issues like we have in the past 48 hours, uh, it's going to slow it down. You don't seem to be that, uh, that pessimistic. Well, no, it's possible that it will slow it down. I'm not pessimistic, uh, uh, however, because I believe there's a great deal of focus uh, on both sides of the aisle in a bipartisan way. Uh, that action to respond to the uh, challenges that uh, are confronting the financial markets generally and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac in particular, uh, and particularly uh, mortgage holders and uh, individuals who are threatened with foreclosure. It's important for us to act and act quickly, as we did with the stimulus package earlier this year. Right. Now, that was, that was definitely the model. If, if one was looking for uh, a quick passage, that would be the, the, the route you'd want to go. Yes. Um, what to you, though, would be the most troublesome points? Well, Carl, I think the troubling points are the exposure of the United States taxpayer. Uh, but basically, I believe that everybody understands uh, that we've had legislation pending now, in some cases over a year. We passed GSE, a government-sponsored enterprises oversight for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, uh, over a year ago. Unfortunately, that uh, uh, language for uh, some months, uh, but uh, we are now moving. Uh, we understand that action is necessary in the near term, and while there will be... Uh, uh, concerns expressed by some that we're moving too quickly, uh, I think uh, to delay would undermine confidence. And I think uh, confidence is our major objective. Right. Do you expect any more clarity from uh, the Chairman Bernanke? Not, when he, not today, maybe today when he speaks to Senate, but in front of House Financial Services? Well, I would think there are going to be clarifications. And uh, when you say clarity, uh, uh, yes, I think he'll speak to this. And I think, uh, uh, as you know, he and uh, Secretary Paulson have been working together. Uh, Barney Frank, the chairman of the Financial Services Committee, has been engaged uh, over the weekend and prior to that uh, in discussing with Secretary Paulson and I believe uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Bernanke uh, as to what steps are appropriate to take in this instance uh, to create stability uh, and confidence in the marketplace. Congressman, do you, you think you could get a, a bill through that allowed the Treasury to buy the equity in Fannie? I mean, do you, do you think you could get the passage of something like that? I think people will go along with that just, just because of the state of, of where we are right now? Would, well, would you support that? Well, I think that uh, certainly that's one of the proposals that Secretary Paulson made to, uh, to allow the government to purchase equity. Of course, if we purchased equity, as you understand, we would be a preferred equity holder, that we being the taxpayers of the United States, which would mean that in the event, uh, uh, in the unlikely event, and certainly an event which we don't want to uh, uh, contemplate, a failure, uh, the taxpayer would be reimbursed first uh, so that the exposure to the taxpayer would be limited. There, there, there's some people that, that are just talking about the, with some of the activities that, that were, you know, it's a moral hazard question. Yes. If you're allowing the shareholder and actually having the government become a shareholder on, uh, with an institution that many people say over the years did engage in some risky behavior, it makes no sense to keep throwing taxpayer money at it. And, and I'm just wondering whether you really think both sides of the aisle will uh, will go along with that particular provision. I don't know that everybody will go along with it, but I think there is a sense on both sides of the aisle uh, that it is necessary, again, to take such actions as will bring stability and confidence uh, uh, to, uh, to the marketplace, particularly as it relates to Fannie Mae and Freddie yeah. Mac. Uh, because if we do not, the losses incurred by uh, uh, literally millions and millions of people, not only here, but through the uh, international community will be very, very essential. A lot of people are coming up with, with plans. We just heard one that, that, that would strengthen Fannie and Freddie and the ability for the, these companies to operate, but it might involve uh, common shareholders um, uh, being sacrificed. Uh, there are plans that are out there like that, and I, I guess the market will dictate what finally happens. I mean, it's not the end of Fannie and Freddie. It's just the end of it's kind of what happened with Bear Stearns almost. Well, I think in the final analysis, uh, that, may be, uh, that may be accurate. Congressman, there's been a lot of criticism thrown around uh, at Congress as well for pushing Fannie and Freddie to open the gates, allow many, many Americans to come in and uh, go ahead and make a purchase. Uh, you know, the American dream is to home. But is there going to be a, a, a tougher line coming from Congress in the future 
that maybe not every American can own a home just yet. It, will Congress change the, its tune with Fannie and Freddie? No, I will. The House of Representatives, of course, is, as I said, Becky, passed legislation over a year ago, as you know, in yeah. terms of uh, oversight and regulation of Fannie and Freddie, uh, because we believe that uh, uh, there had not been the kind of oversight that was necessary to ensure uh, solid uh, uh, management. Uh, as a result of, of that languishing in the Senate, however, we haven't passed that. I, w I hope we will pass it in this package. Uh, but clearly, I think the Congress is determined uh, that we're going to have res uh, lenders uh, be responsible for making loans that, in fact, can be paid back, and there will be a consequence if they're making irresponsible loans. Mm -hmm. I think, unfortunately, we in the subprime uh, market, we saw uh, clearly where lenders... Uh, had no real concerns about the ability of individuals sure. uh, to, pro to, to uh, carry their loans for a long period of time. Yeah. We cannot allow that to continue. Uh, uh, Senator Schumer has taken a couple of knocks uh, for the comments he made about Andy Mack and then the, and the resultant, uh, not, not resultant, the, the, su the subsequent uh, cuts to the bank. I think that's unfair. And where's the line between where politicians should express concern about a bank uh, and, and try to keep from yelling fire in a crowded house? Well, I, th I think that's a tough line because uh, the public expects us as, uh, as their representatives to call attention to uh, problems that confront them and uh, our country. Uh, but on the other hand, we want to make sure, as uh, Mr. Lindsay said earlier, uh, that our comments are measured and do not make the problem worse. Uh, Was Senator Schumer guilty? Well, I'm not going to get into whether Senator Schumer was guilty or not guilty. That's not my job. Uh, I think uh, Senator Schumer obviously uh, understands and I think wants to make sure that there is confidence in the marketplace as well. Uh, but I think, uh, as I said, we also have a responsibility to uh, look at irresponsible behavior in the eye and uh, uh, call it for what it is. Uh, but uh, we need to be careful. Uh, we need to be measured. We need to make sure that uh, we don't add to the problem, that we are part of the solution, not part of the problem. Yeah. Uh, we'll be watching closely on the Hill next couple of days. Congressman, good to talk to you. Good. Good to Congressman talk to you. Hoyer.